So after all the hype around the Ionic 5, which we had the pleasure of test driving a while back on this channel, we now get to test out for ourselves the Ionic 6. And it's obviously a very different animal overall. It's called a streamliner. It's sleek, smaller than the Ionic 5, obviously nowhere near as boxy. In fact, everything about this is geared towards aerodynamics. You do have the pixelated headlamps there, which uh, retain some of that flavor from the Ionic 5, but otherwise very different. A lot of the same sensors are hidden in this curved black band. On this model, which is a high-end model, it's a long-range all-wheel drive, we get, again, these electronic wing mirrors. Uh, we also have 20-inch alloys. That doesn't really scream electric vehicle, does it? But they've obviously gone for that so that people have the sense that they're driving a, a real car, not something that's become very much in vogue with the EV trends uh, in recent years. Um, and also, when you're at the rear end, you do have this feeling like, wait a minute, is this a Porsche? I've seen a couple of the Ionic 6s in this parking lot, and I've, and I've had to do a double take. I'm not saying this is exactly like a Porsche, but there is definitely something very Porsche about the rear end here. And uh, aside from that, the color, if you like this particular color, it's nocturne gray metallic that we're going to be test driving today but overall i'm most curious about what it's going to be like on the inside i'm sure the driving experience is going to be great because the ionic 5 was and there are some tweaks with this and we'll get into the specs in a moment but the big question for me is is this something i could drive with my family or feel comfortable even on my own compared with a bigger suv experience like the ionic 5 so let's find out like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 before it, the Ioniq 6 runs on Hyundai's eGMP or Electric Global Modular Platform with an ultra-fast charging capability going from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. But because the Ioniq 6 is more aerodynamic, its long-range version can go further on a single charge reportedly reaching 610 kilometers or 379 miles, even if the Korean government's official figure is 524 kilometers. In any case, the Ionic 6 is one of the most energy efficient vehicles out there. Now I've just had a chance to quickly familiarize myself with the interior. The space is not bad at all, considering this is smaller than the Ionic 5. It doesn't feel like a dramatic drop, although the steering wheel itself is a bit more compact and the handling is tighter. What I did need to get used to was this twisty knob here to move into drive. When I first got in, I was like, how do I get this thing moving? And with an electric vehicle, you're never quite sure if the engine is actually on or not. But uh, anyway, we're going and we've got a special route. We're going to be driving through the Korean countryside. So let's take it for a spin, shall we? The Ionic 6 is actually bigger and more spacious than it appears at first glance, boasting a wheelbase of 2.95 meters. It's actually only 50 millimeters shy of the Ionic 5 in that regard, allowing for a roomy interior. You also get extra features inside, like a kaleidoscope of ambient lighting colors, if you appreciate that kind of thing. Absolutely loving the mountainous scenery as we move from Gyeonggi province towards Gangwon province. And, well, it's a wonderful day anyway for a test drive. I'm pleased to say the Ionic 6 is holding up as I expected. I had no doubt at all that this would be a lovely car to drive. Uh, but I do want to draw some attention to this very clear and expansive dashboard that merges into infotainment. And keeping an eye on the speed that draws my attention to just how zippy this thing is. The Ionic 6 in four-wheel drive is capable of getting from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds and you're kept safer in theory by Hyundai's advanced driver assistance systems and well informed by that 12-inch full-touch infotainment display combined with a 12-inch digital cluster. Okay, so we are really in the countryside now. 
the career navigation system is telling me where to go but uh, we've almost done a hairpin turn there it's a bit slow because there are speed bumps and various crossings but you can see that these are tight twisty roads and they give us a taste of the handling which remains perfect if you want to experience it for yourself, the global release of the Ionic 6 isn't until next year. But here in Korea, the race to get hold of one began in August, as it broke the local record for first day orders. The price here starts at a little over 50 million won before a government subsidy is factored in. Well then, fun drive through the Korean countryside and a vehicle that stood up to the test. And if you said to me I'd be driving this for the next year, I'd be very happy, as long as some of those other problems like finding enough charging stations, etc., were taken care of. But seriously, this is more than enough of a competitor for something like the Tesla Model 3 or some of the other comparisons that we've seen out there in the media. I would say that for larger families, they might be naturally drawn to something like the Ionic 5 just because of the sheer space. But this has more than enough headroom for someone of my height, i.e. around 6'2". Uh, also, it's wide enough for most families of four to five to fit in fairly comfortably. And there's a fair bit of space in the trunk as well. So overall, this gets a pretty glowing reference. It's not a Porsche, but it's not the price of a Porsche either. And I think most people would be very happy with this.